All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, Assassin. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Brookline, Massachusetts, Iron. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Got the single collar tie. Big punch land over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Way to hide that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. to his right. Nice strike. And they set. Nice 
Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Oh! Knocked out by the spinning back fist! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Oh, yes, it is a lost guard in Oh! He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Ooh. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, big shot lands. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Visibly limping here. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Massive head kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Blocks that kick to the body. Nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Ooh, head kick lands. Yeah, both guys really throwing with authority. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. No good. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just out of the range with that right hand. Can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Second round, straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this he round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Able to check the high kick. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Hands up, hands up. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice right hand. Hands up, hands up. Blocks the shot. Oh, nice high 
Duncan. Oh, what a punch. Combinations here. Both guys landed big shots. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How that one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. And they separate. Gave him inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Leg kick. What a body kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Huge block! Just out of range with that strike. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Good punch. Look at how he drives his team right into his opponent's midsection. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt oh. bad. Well, he's up. But he is looking for certain the finish could come at any time. Oh, big left hook there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice. Beautiful hollow tie. He's got him in the clinch. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. What a head kick. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, single collar tie here. 20 seconds left. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop going. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice shot to the body there. Ten oh, minutes wow. in the books. Great work. He won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Attempts the front kick there. Let your hands go. 
Oh, now he stuns him beautifully with the left hand. The left hand is so accurate, so educated. He's so able to fight from both fighting stances. Just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good... Oh! New purpose. Serves him up. Look him. Back to the feet. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. He went high on that one. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Great punch. Back and forth we go. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he goes. Connects now with the one-two. Three minutes to go in round three. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Defense there as he blocks the shot. Big punch lands through the middle. Beautiful body kick. Oh, nice job to block the kick. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. With. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You got to like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. His leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Huh? So there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, 
how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Ready to fight? Ready? Go. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Went for the inside leg kick. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. What a punch. And that one was heavy. Knee to the body. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. with that right hand. Oh, collar tie. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Oh, yeah, he's hurt really bad. Remain in round four. Trying to establish that jab once again. Great punch landing with so much power. Just misses there with the left. Dig and kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Biggest of stages. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen and. Air.